Well, hello everybody, this is Bob Olson once again. Hey, we're traveling down to Portland, Oregon, a place called Alpenrose. Really cool place. It's a dairy farm, and these the dairy farm people have opened up their farming land to the community around them. They got three baseball fields, and then they got this bicycle racing thing called a velodrome. Um, they have a lot of good races there. It's a pretty cool thing. I mean, they make a big, big deal of it. I mean, they, these adults are really getting into it all the way. It's kind of cool. And then they allowed them to build a quarter midget racetrack at their dairy farm. Wow, isn't that something? And this is a really nice racetrack, as you'll see in future pictures. It's just amazing. Let's get started. This is another pit meeting. Pretty good sized one. Well, this is a regional race, so people from all over the state of Washington, Canada, are, con are converging down into a little place called Alpenrose Dairy down in Portland, Oregon. Great, great place. Lots of fun down here. So, we're going to start out a little bit of practice. That's what's going on right here in these pictures, is they're going out and kind of getting the lay of the land, along with doing their little time trials for eight laps. Uh, a little later on in the day, they're going to start bringing the cars off the track, and as they come off the track, they're going to have a guy there that's going to be marking the motor. What's this all about? Marking the motor? Well, I, people have a tendency to try to get over competitive sometimes and some dads will try to cheat the system I guess you can say. So what they do is they will take a, a colored paint and they will start marking the back side of the uh, uh, car where the motor is. And that's what's going on in this picture right here. He has some red paint and he's going to be marking different parts of the motor so that the dads can't go out and well, change the motor or change different components of the motor. Um, I don't know. It seems like once a year there is seems to be one person that wants to try to cheat the system. This is kids racing, and I I think uh, <laughs> they should try to keep it this way. But anyway, that's why they they do this is to make sure that the parents make it all level playing field for all the kids. Um, and overall, I think they do a really good job. Um, so they paint the motors, um, they'll check the fuel to make sure they didn't spike their fuel, and then at the end of the race weekend, as you've seen in uh, earlier videos, they'll uh, uh, check the motors and make sure that the parents didn't do anything to the motors. And, and it makes it so that it's fun and it's competitive and you can be super rich or just a working stiff. And it's on a level playing field. And I like that about this sport. So, regional races are usually more than a one day event, usually a two day event. And if you're traveling out of town, like to Langley, Canada, or Portland, Oregon, or Yakima, or Elma, usually we take a day off, uh, like a Friday, so that we can get there and get set up and, and, have a little bit of fun and uh, test out the cars and at the end of the first day usually we'll do a little thing called camping. That's one thing I haven't talked about a whole lot yet is you know baseball, football, basketball, all the different sports I've been involved with my kids. We, we didn't do this stuff at the end of the baseball practice or football practice or the game or whatever. But this quarter midget stuff we sit down and we enjoy our evenings with it, with our friends and our, our race partners and our family. What a great thing. So, 
after spending a beautiful evening with family and friends, we end up starting all over again the next day. And I'll tell you, there's so much to talk about this club, this track down in Oregon, Alpenrose. It's such a beautiful place. And we'll talk more about it in future episodes. But maybe we should talk about other things. So as much as I love quarter midgets, Kylie had to try some other things also. She tried a little bit of dance. And you know what? She did that pretty good. I think this quarter midget racing, I think being exposed to different activities builds her confidence. I mean, she's even ran for her class president. Um, whatever she's taken on, she's feeling she, she has confidence that she can do it. And pretty dung on proud of these kids. But don't get me wrong. Baseball, football, basketball, I love them all. You're going to see some of these other kids jumping into uh, baseball. Hunter. I think even Jonathan stepped into baseball for a little bit. Um, it's, it's, it's all experiences that help them grow in life. And this one was a pretty fun one. You know, I, if I recall, Kylie uh, ended up having to race to the racetrack that day because she did this on a race day and she had to race back so she could finish racing in her car. Stay tuned. I think uh, Holly's going to be wanting to try this next. But before that, I think Jonathan and Hunter jump into baseball. And I think this is Hunter up to uh, bat right now. He really took off in this sport. He really enjoyed this. And you know what? His dad did too. I coached baseball for 13 years and as you can see his dad's repeating the cycle all over again and now he's teaching his son uh, the wonderful sport of baseball. Um, it's a good mix, a good foundation. It's good for the soul. So, you remember that picture a while back of Holly? Well, I think she wants to follow and Kylie step. Guess what? She tried a little bit of dancing also. And then you know what? She's a little cutie and she did a really good job. But when they're all done with this dancing and baseball stuff, they still want to come back and do some more quarter midget racing. So let's talk some more about quarter midget racing. So you see this purple car on the outside? That's Bree. That's Kylie's best friend. So she won a big race. This is really awesome. This is all good. Like I said before, it's, it's not all about winning. It's about being with your friends, but experiencing life. Oh yeah, this picture in the background here, we had to get another trailer. One we had 
didn't hold enough cars. This one will hold up to six cars. This is a 24 foot trailer. Lots of cool stuff in there. Oh yeah, remember me when I said I used to go to Q-Lube to change the oil on my truck? Well, I'm now changing oil on these motors. By the way, my grandkids will start helping me very soon change the oil in these cars. So now that the oil's changed, I am, we're back at Graham at a racetrack. I think we're gonna get ready and start racing. Here we go. Okay. This is a big race. This is a hunter race. And my gosh, I think he's going to do pretty good in this one. I'm pretty excited. He's in the blue car. Uh, closest to the grass. Keep a good eye on this guy. I think he's going to have a good day today. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but that's that's mom pretty excited. Hunter has a one heck of a good lead going there. I think mom's going to get a little closer to the fence so she can keep an eye on him. But watch what she does as he comes around the track here. She's rooting him on on that lap. He needs to just pick it. Well, there's still nine laps left. Watch his eyes. Now watch this. She's pointing at him. Can't do that during a race. Any hand signals is bad. So little Jim's going down and saying, hey, can't do that, Mom. That car was starting to Come catch on. up with him because his line wasn't go. good. Get close to those turtles. Better you do. Okay, the flagger just waved the green flag. That's two laps to go. So at the end of this next lap, there should be only one lap to go. White flag. Uh-oh. Okay, so there's an accident. They'll go back to the last completed lap and start this uh, and finish this race out. So I think they only have one lap to go. And so let's see how he does. It's very important to get that good jump. Uh, go, 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 go! Go, go! I mean, shoot. No, no. Oh, I heard it. Go! Looks like you got a good jump. And he won this race. Good job, Hunter. Good job done by all. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let us know. And hopefully we'll see you at the next one. Have a great day.